I'm Chelsea Goad from Space.com, and I'm here with Jessica Meir, who will be launching for the first time on September 25th for a six-month mission aboard the International Space Station as a flight engineer for Expeditions 61 and 62. Thank you so much for speaking with me, Jessica. Thank you. It's great talking to you today. Fantastic. So you're just a few short weeks away from launching to the space station for the first time. How do you feel? I'm incredibly excited. It's something that I've been dreaming and thinking about for my entire life almost since I was five years old. So still a little bit surreal right now to imagine that it's finally coming true. Absolutely. I can only imagine. So astronauts often talk about the overview effect. Are you looking forward to seeing Earth from space? Yes, very much. The overview effect is something I've thought a lot about, too, for two big reasons. First of all, for understanding and looking back, having that appreciation of how fragile and special our Earth is, how thin that atmosphere layer is, and how we really need to make sure to do our best to protect it. I'm quite a passionate environmentalist already, so I think that's only going to further cement that belief and understanding for me. And second, really, that understanding of how insignificant we are as a human species and as a planet in our in the role of the solar system and beyond in the universe. I think that those two factors are really life-changing for everybody that can see the planet from above. Absolutely. So if you could pinpoint one thing about this upcoming flight, what are you looking forward to the most? I think what I'm looking forward to the most is, as a scientist, understanding more about all of these different effects of microgravity in the spaceflight environment and participating as both an operator and a subject for a wide variety of investigations, ranging from how the microgravity environment affects our individual arteries, our blood vessels. We're seeing some changes in astronauts in the thickness and the stiffness of the walls in our arteries, and we need to understand why. It's actually equivalent to 20 to 30 years of aging in just a six-month mission. So understanding how to bring astronauts back home safely, and of course, that will be pivotal for our longer duration missions in the future when we return to the moon and when we go to Mars. We're doing all kinds of science up there from those physiology experiments to combustion experiments to protein crystal growth, really any type of science, you name it. You know, once you remove that, those or eliminate those gravity driven effects, we can begin to understand more about other factors that might be covered up here on the ground. I'm also really looking forward to the potential to do a spacewalk since that's really what I've always envisioned myself doing really my whole life. With Artemis, uh, the first woman is set to walk on the, mu on the moon. Um, do you hope to be that woman? I would absolutely love to be the first woman on the moon. That would be my ideal mission. It is time for us to go back to the moon, and I think that we will be able to do that in the near future, and I would love to be the one on that mission. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much, Jessica. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.